Hey everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions and today I want to talk about an amazing synth VSTi called Faceplant from Kilohertz. Now I can't wait to show you how amazing this plugin is. If you like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe. And before we start, let's hear about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, video, freelancing, and obviously music. Whether it's music theory, learning an instrument, music production, even the music business, there's a ton of content on there. There's even specific things like how to make beats, how to design great sound sounds, or even Cubase specific videos. To give you an example, I've been following this class by Will Edwards called Wavetable Sound Design Strategy, and it's really insightful. It gives you a lot of tools to create better synth sounds. Now most classes are under 60 minutes with short lesson to fit any schedule. So I'll leave a link in the description below. The first thousand people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Make sure to check it out and keep learning. So as you can see, the UI is super clean. It's super easy to understand. It's really, really efficient what they did with the UI. You have three sections. You have a generators section, modulators and effects. And that's pretty much all the windows that you have. You have some macros button on the top and some other settings right here. But if you compare it to, let's say, a regular synth plugin like Retrolog that comes with Cubase Pro, if you're a beginner, seeing this is a bit overwhelming and it's even less powerful than Faceplant. You have like three oscillators and a bunch of stuff you don't know where to start. The beautiful thing with Faceplant is it's super easy and you can add the modules that you need and you can add a crazy amount of them if you want and if you need it. But first, let's listen to a couple of presets so you can listen to what the plugin can do. So we have a bunch of categories. Let's try some bass hard. <laughs> Now let's listen to a couple of complex sound just for fun. Cool stuff. You also have some drum sounds. Really cool stuff, so you can design some kick, snare, or drum sounds with this as well. You also have some sound effects. Great textures there. Um, and obviously the more musical stuff like keys. You have a bunch of leads as well. Some mallets. Since uh, this synth can do crazy, amazing FM synthesis, Obviously you're going to have you're going to have a bunch of really good sounding bell sounds. And you have obviously pads and among other things. And the beautiful thing is you also have tutorials. Over here you have a folder called tutorials and it will teach you how to use the plugin and the different features. So how to use an arpeggio for example. Um, and obviously sub oscillators. Um, and the cool thing is you have a bunch of tutorials on FM synthesis. So let's try this one. 
As you can see, the patch is really simple. There's two oscillators, but they use the macro to teach you what the different types of FM uh, will do. So the usual FM, the linear FM, it has a different tone and the exponential FM, this one is interesting. And the ring mod. So this plugin can do all those things, but let's start with a fresh um, patch here. So if I want to add a generator, I just click right here and I have the options to add an analog generator, which is basically the classic oscillators where you have sawtooth, pulse, uh, triangle, and sine wave. So if I play, and with pulse, you all obviously have pulse with. If you want, you can add some modulator to modulate the pulse width. So if I had, for example, an LFO, I can assign the output of the LFO to the pulse width. So every time you see a little plus button, it means that you can assign it to something else. And if I click it, as you can see, you can assign it to pretty much anything on this plugin. It's crazy, the possibilities. So let's assign some amount to the pulse width button just for fun. So now the LFO is basically moving the pulse width up and down. Let's say I don't want it to go down. I only want it to go up. I can always change the LFO type to unipolar. So it's only going up and I can invert it if I want. And the default setting is bipolar. So it's gonna go up and down. So this is really cool. And when you add an oscillator, usually it will automatically add an output to it. Uh, that is to hear the sound basically. And it also comes with an amp envelope. So the cool thing is you have the regular buttons, attack, decay, sustain, and release, but you also have the visual here and you can tweak it that way if you want. You can add unison if you want. Right now I have four uh, unison. You can change the uh, type of unison. Detune it. Spread it so it's more stereo. And just like that, I have a patch. I can add some reverb just for fun. And I have a patch. See how easy it is. But the thing is, let's go back to a new patch. You don't only have analog, you can also add some noise. And the noise have three types. And you can always um, modulate them or change the frequency or the pitch. So you can do some creative whooshes with that if you want. So this is really nice. Um, you also have a sampler, so you can basically drag and drop any WAV files and you have a crazy amount of options with this. Let me just add a random sound to it just for fun. Uh, this, I just grabbed the first one that I saw. Uh, let's see how it sounds like. <laughs> this is funny. So let's move the start point. And if I want, I can enable the loop. So I can make it loop. So let's try to... So now it's just looping, it's reaching the end and it's going back to the start of the loop uh, section, but I can set it to ping pong if I want. So it's gonna go back and forth and add some crossfade. And I can obviously pitch shift it, change the frequency. And I can layer it to 
analog um, oscillators to noise to wavetable. I can do so many things with it. I can add distortion if I want. Let's try that. And for fun, let's assign something to the mud wheel. Let's assign the um, shift maybe to the mud wheel. <laughs> so I can do a bunch of crazy things with it. Um, so a popular uh, generator is obviously the wavetable. Uh, depending on the version of faceplant that you have, it comes with a bunch of wavetables. So you have a lot of really good stuff evolving wavetables. Um, let's try this one. <laughs> Let's try another one just for fun. Uh, growls. Um, really, really cool. And you can add, not it's not unlimited, but you can add so many generators. And I think for modulators, you can add up to 32. It's crazy the amount of things that you can add to this. Um, so for now, let's try just for fun to create um, an organ sound just from scratch. And let's use a basic FM technique uh, to it. So first I'll add an analog oscillator. As I said, when you add one, it automatically come with an output with an envelope that is a prefix. So let's try to add a sine wave oscillator. Really simple stuff. And I'll add another one, but this one is not gonna be routed to the output. It's gonna be used to modulate this one. So this is where it comes really, it becomes really interesting since if I press the plus button again, I can uh, tell it to modulate the phase. So this is really phase modulation, but it's pretty much the same thing. So usually when doing FM synthesis, you don't want to go into crazy amount. You can if you want, but it sounds more musical if you add a smaller amounts. So I just put 15%. So nothing too crazy or too interesting for now. But the beautiful thing is if you tweak the harmonic, uh, that is really useful for FM synthesis. So let's try to raise the harmonic of this one. So you can see in real time what the waveform looks like. That's another really cool feature of this plugin. Now let's raise this one. So we already kind of start to hear an organ-like sound, but it's really thin. So I'll try to add another um, oscillator just to add some beef to it. So I could go for a triangle or sine and raise the octave. Uh, let's raise it by one octave and add an output to it so we can hear it. I'll add a limiter to make sure that it's never going to clip. You have to be mindful because if you keep adding generators, the overall volume will raise as well. So you can always tweak the level right here. So let's put it to 75 in this one as well. And if you right click on any of those knobs or values, you can enter it manually with your keyboard. So it's super precise, so that's useful. Uh, now let's add some release to it. So instead of going with the sine, I'll for the for the lower uh, oscillator, I'll try to go with the pulse width, and it's gonna make my life harder since it's a bit distorted, but it's gonna be fun that way. <laughs> So to make sure it doesn't sound too distorted, I'll add a filter to it. So let's just add a filter right here. Did 
that's pretty cool. Um, let's try to add an envelope and have the envelope affect the cutoff of the filter. Another cool thing you can do instead of doing this, if I double click on it, I can remove the assignation. You also have a modulator called Note. So this is basically a keyboard tracking. So if I assign the output of this to the cutoff and I add an amount. So if I play a lower note, the cutoff is gonna be lower. And if I play a higher note, the cutoff is gonna go higher. That sounds about right. So we kind of have a, already a cool organ sound. Let's just add a reverb here, just for fun. And obviously we can uh, add some chorus if we want. But in this case, there's a really good plugin called Ensemble. You can change the amount of voices. You can detune and make it more stereo. I'll just add another uh, filter in the effects section just for fun. Um, and this one, I'm going to assign the envelope to it. Just a little bit, so there's a bit of movement. I'll put the envelope after. Another thing I like, instead of the envelope sometimes, is to add a phaser. I know it's a uh, the type of effect that is not really often used, but I like what it does. You can change the rate. So let's layer it just for fun. So that almost sounds like a real rotary, like a, a real hardware speaker that is turning. Um, sounds great. And I just made this for fun. I see how easy it is and I used FM synthesis. This is what's beautiful about this plugin is that it's crazy powerful what you can do. You can do some really growly bass with it. You can do some really hard stuff complex sound and some really warm things and it comes with so many options yet it's so easy to use and you're in control of everything you do you can spend hours just having fun in this and the beautiful thing is depending on the version that you have you can have a monthly subscription i think it's somewhere around 9.99 per month and you get the ultimate uh, bundle which includes every effects it also includes uh, plugins called um Multipass and Snap Heat. These are amazing plugins that you can use in Faceplant, but you can also use them in your DAW. They're crazy good. Uh, let me just show you a couple of presets of Snap Heat just for fun.
So you can do some crazy stuff, as you can see. And you get all that um, for $9.99 a month. You can also buy the plugin. And right now, as um, I'm recording this video, they have some really good deals uh, for Black Friday. I think these deals are going to keep going until... Christmas or something. So go check it out. You have many versions that you can buy. So if you, you're on a tight budget, there's a version that I think right now is $99. So it's cheaper than other tools like Serum, but it's really, really creative and crazy what you can do with this plugin. As usual, if you like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. And as usual, see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.